Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how to crochet these tulips. We can put them in a crochet pot, or we can make it as a flower bucket. If you're new to my channel, I'm sharing crochet ideas every week. Please subscribe and turn on notification. Now let's begin. These are materials we will be using. Firstly, we will find pink yarn to work flowers. Here we will do a double circle on our finger and work six single crochet in a circle. This method is like work in a magic ring, but far more tighter than a normal magic ring. From here, we work six single crochet in a circle. Here is our first single crochet, now the second one. You can pause here to finish other three. Now we have six single crochet, we will then close the circle. To do this, we will first lay pull through the tile to find the removable yarn. Then we pull through the removable yarn to close the circle. Here we close it as tight as we can. Finally, we pull through the tile to close the circle and cut off the tail. In this way, the circle is super tight than a normal magic ring. Now we will close round 1. Every time we close a round, we will work a slip stitch through the first stitch. Here, a little trick is we can pull through the yarn to minimize the slip stitch because in the future we won't work here. Every time we start a new round, we will chain 1 and don't count it as a stitch. In round 2, we will do 6 increase. Especially, we will do tighter single crochet rather than normal single crochet. If you are new to this stitch, you can practice a while. All of the rest of the flowers, we will do tight single crochet. Now I will do the second increase, which is 2 tighter single crochet. The result will be like this. You can pause here to finish round 2. Now we come to the end of round 2, we will still do a slip stitch through the first stitch to close the round. Every time we close the round, we will do this step. Every time we start a new round, we will work one chain and do not count this chain as a stitch. In round 3, we will do one tight single crochet and one increase, and we will repeat this 6 times. By end of this round, we will have 18 stitches. Now we will chain 1 to start round 4. Round 4 follows a similar pattern. We do two tight single crochet and then one increase, and we repeat six times. By end of this round, we will have 24 stitches. Now we chain one to start round five. In round 5, we work one tight single crochet and one increase. Then we will do similar pattern like we do in round 4. In this way, we can avoid getting a polygon rather than a circle by doing the increase in slightly different position. From here, we will work three tight single crochet and then one increase 
we will repeat this pattern five times. In the end, you should have two spaces left, which you will do two tight single crochet. By end of this round, we will have 30 stitches. Now we finish the round 5. This will be the base of the flower and we won't do any increase anymore. So we still chain 1 to start round 6. From round 6 to round 13, we just work one tight single crochet in each space. Now we come to the end of the flower. We will then cut off the yarn with a tile about 20 cm long. And we will find a yarn needle and a flower stem to assemble the flower. We will find green yarn to work the leaves. Firstly, we still do a slip knot. Then we work 31 chains. We have 31 stitches. Here we need to find a stem wire about 30 cm long to put inside the leaves. Then we will find the second bump from the hook and work a slip stitch. This leaf in this side we will all work in the back bump. Then we just work one normal single crochet. In the next three spaces, we will work three half double crochet in each one of them. This way we are gradually increasing the height of the stitches. On the second half double crochet, Then the third half double crochet. From now on, we just work 18 double crochet. 
Then we will gradually decrease the height of the stitches in the other end of the leaf. So we will do three half double crochet and two single crochet. Now we come to the end and have one stitch left. This last space will work three single crochet. Then we move to the other side and follow the same pattern to finish the leaf. Now we come to the end of the leaf. And we will work a slip stitch through the last space. Then we cut off the yarn. Here we need to wrap the tail along the wires and then fix the tail with the wire. Now we can cut off the yarn. Now we will assemble the flower. For each one flower, you can either do one leaf or two leaves. <laughs> 